Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I have a uh, ski do over there and the primary clutch is stuck on the shaft. Uh, I already have the bolt out obviously, but the clutch is stuck on there. I tried a puller, it didn't work. I tried the water trick, it didn't work. So I'm gonna show you guys some tricks that I would uh, normally use to get a clutch that's like wicked stuck off. So if you have a puller, I just like the idea of trying a puller. So I don't know, it just seems like the right way to do it. So make sure you lube up these threads before you, uh, before you put them in. The threads tend to bind quite a bit and make sure you have the right puller because a lot of times like they go from different years, we'll have different pullers and stuff. So it's a long way in and it finally jammed up. So now this thing's down, you got it as tight as you can with an impact or a breaker bar. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is give it a sharp hit on the end with a hammer. Uh, nothing major because you don't want to damage the crank bearings, but these seem to be pretty tough. So a sharp hit should give this clutch enough shock to come off the taper. Okay, so that didn't help at all. Uh, I wasn't able to get this loose at all. I put a bar, uh, breaker bar on this, and I wasn't able to tighten the puller anymore. Seems like it's just completely bottomed out. Um, before I try to add heat to this clutch, I think what I'm going to do is uh, zip the puller off and try grease and basically the water trick. I, I have a feeling grease might work better. So for the water trick, obviously you gotta wrap this bolt in Teflon and make sure you go right onto the threads like that so it doesn't peel, so it doesn't peel it up. Uh, you're gonna want to try to go the whole length of the threads, but not too much because it'll just uh, it'll just peel it right off the second you get on the threads. Hopefully, just a few pumps is enough. Am I? Right? All right, so now I'm gonna thread this bolt in. Just get a few threads going. And then I'm gonna hit it with the impact. And you wanna just always be prepared that this thing's gonna pop off and hit you in the face or something. Nope, see? No go. She wanna hear it. So no success yet, but I'm left with a few options. I think what I'm going to do is run the puller back in, tighten it up as tight as I can get it, and do a combination of heating this inner base shaft of this clutch until it seems until it wants to pop, and I'm probably going to also hit the end of the puller too. So you just want to be really careful about heating these things because you don't. There's a seal for the PTO side, and you obviously don't want to burn up that seal. Oh, she's out. Just uh, kind of released. That's pretty cool. I know what was going on that whole time, but it finally came off. Got a ton of water and shit that's falling out of it now. And I'm just for peace of mind, I'm checking this shaft. It's, it's, it's not hot at all. So I can pretty much be confident that we didn't burn up this seal. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if it was helpful to you, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.